Now we're going to take a look at the TPOS extension. So to activate it, we go to manage extensions and TPOS is a shareable point of sale terminal. So it's a point of sale terminal you can quickly generate for um, your members of staff or yourself, you know, your cafe, your bar, whatever. And then you can share it through a QR code uh, and it's safe to share because it's air gap completely from the wallet it's attached to. So we're going to enable it, have a little look at it and open. Okay, so we're going to make a new TPOS. Um, oh yeah, quick shout out actually to Tiago, who's the developer um, who helped make it. So he had a really nice bit of JavaScript with a point of sale, um, mobile ready point of sale, um, which we've sort of implemented and, and put into Alan Bits. So a big shout out to Tiago. Thanks very much for that, for your contribution. Um, and then also other, you know, other developers and contributors out there. We're We'd be more than happy for you to contribute to the project. It's a free and open source project, and build um, your own extensions, which we can, which we, which we can put into LM bits, so everyone else can make use of them as well. So we're going to make a new TPOS. Uh, we're going to call it. I shall call it Room Seventy Seven. Um, the famous bar in Berlin, the famous Bitcoin bar in Berlin, which I miss. Um, and as it's in Berlin, then we'll be doing euros. Create TPOS, and there's our TPOS. Now, um, if I open this up in the browser. You can see, you know, it's a, a point of sale terminal, which you could use in a, in a browser of a, a computer if you really wanted to, um, or on a tablet. It is, um, but but really, this comes into its own when you you run it on a, a mobile phone. Um, and to to share, all we need to do is just press the hashtag, um, and then we get a nice shareable link, which um, we can use, and, and other members of staff can scan that and also use the, the point of sale without um, exposing your any your wallet at all. You don't. You, we, with this point of sale, all that all people can do is just generate an invoice from the wallet. They can't see any of the information regarding the wallet, the, the ID or um, or any of the the, um, the the read data. So it's it's completely air gapped. Um, we can just you know input an amount and then press OK, um, and we'll get a um, uh, an invoice, um, and then we can pay the invoice, and then once it's settled, um, we're ready for the next customer. Uh, so this is, um, oh yeah, worth remembering as well that, you know, obviously you can put it in dark mode if you prefer that. There is the API information as well. So all the API endpoints are there and can be used if you want. So a developer using LM bits in their stack could build a service on top of LM bits. And instead of having to use the GUI to generate the TPOS, they could generate the TPOS through the API which could be useful for somebody. Um, and there's a little bit of an about there. So yeah, please check out the extension, check out Tiago, give him some props on Twitter for it. It's a really, really useful extension um, and a, an easy way to sell, you know, Bitcoin and, and lightning to people. Someone who has a cafe, just make them an account. You could you could have your own version of LM Bits running, um, connect it to your own node. You could go to your local cafe and say, look, here's an account. Um, uh, you can accept Bitcoin payments over lightning and then if you want to go a little step further, you could get them to run LM bits on their, um, I don't know, their uh, computer in the back office. And then people could be making point of sales um, on that local area network. So it's a really cool, um, really cool extension, I think. Um, so thanks for watching and have fun with it. Um, I'll see you again.